One and ITV One HD. This is Anglia Tonight. With the news from where you live here on ITV One. Plans for the first major new canal in our region for 200 years have taken a step forward, with responsibility for the project officially handed over today. If the £170 million project does get the go-ahead, the canal will link the River Grey Twos in Bedford to the Grand Union in Milton Keynes. Hannah Pettifer has more on that. It's a slow pace of life on the waterways. In fact, 200 years have passed since the last canal was built but now plans to build a brand new one are moving forwards. The heritage of the canal system in this country is wonderful. We have, we have seen a lot of regeneration in the centre of the country and now it's bringing that to life and bringing it back out to join up with essentially a programme that should have been done perhaps 200 years ago to, do, to join up with the Grey Twos and that I think will be a wonderful uh, asset for this country, not least just for the local recreation, going fishing and so on, but for tourists to come from abroad to spend time in this country. The canal will connect the River Great Ouse in Bedford to the Grand Union Canal in Milton Keynes, 16 miles away, on a larger scale forming a link between the waterways of East Anglia and the main canal network. All 11 organisations behind the project met today to sign up to an agreement. If, if the money could be made available quickly, then clearly it, can be, it could be completed within five years or so. Uh, I think that's, that's unlikely. I think we're probably talking about a longer term project um, 15, 20 years for the full completion. Mary and Andy Wright have lived on the Grand Union for the past five years. It's particularly good for us because there's lots of places we can't go being a wide beam. Because um, it is going to be a wide canal. Wide beam canal, yeah. Yes. We get through to, to Bedford, it'd be great if you were yeah. somewhere different to go. <laughs> Work on the canal is already underway. Now this is the first structure of the waterway to be funded, an underpass to carry the boats beneath the A421 near Stewartby. But with that work very much dependent on funding, a lot of water will go under this bridge before the canal does. Hannah Pettifer, Anglia News, Milton Keynes. Yeah, it's just easier. To Tudor Inns.